Hey guys, on to today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to update your iPhone, iPad, or iPad Touch to the latest iOS 10.3.2. Anyways, first of all, make your backup, okay? So to make your backup on iCloud, go into settings, and then you guys will have to go into your name up there and just make that backup. If you guys are in the older iOS, then you can just scroll down until you see iCloud and just manually make that backup, okay? That is just in case something goes wrong with the updating installing you can only recover everything by restoring your phone right so uh, let's just go right into general under general you guys will see the second option which says software update under software update you guys will see this loading up so you might take a little bit but you will see this so the first step is to download and then install so let's just click on download and install then it's gonna ask for your passcode okay after that it's gonna start downloading so how long should it take downloading well most cases, no more than five minutes, depending on your internet speed. Um, in my case, it won't take more than two minutes. And then for installing, the installing process shouldn't take more than 10 minutes. However, if you guys are stuck there, you know, it's half an hour, an hour, two hours, then it's bad news. You guys will have to restore your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Um, and then, you know, luckily that's why I told you guys to make that backup really quick on iCloud. If you guys have no more space on iCloud to make your backup, don't worry about it. You guys can always hook it up to your computer, open up iTunes, which is a free program compatible with both PC and Mac, and just make your backup there. Um, if you make your backup on, I on iTunes, you guys will see that there is no space limit since it backs up on your computer. So as long as you have some space in your computer, you're good to go. Uh, other than that, I always suggest making a quick backup on iCloud before making any update just in case. Now remember to have at least 50% of your battery. I always recommend actually when you're updating anything, just have it hooked up to some electricity. So as you can see, my phone's already 100% and yet I have it charged up. So I usually don't recommend if you're 100% to keep it charging because that's not a good thing. But uh, when you're installing stuff like this, you don't want anything bad to happen. So in that case, I would actually leave it plugged in to some electricity when you're making that update. So what we're going to see, we're going to see that it's going to install. So once this actually starts installing, we'll see the screen go black, then white, app logo, loading bar, and then that's it. That's pretty much the update. It's a small update. It shouldn't take that long again. If you guys have been there more than two hours, time to restart. Anyways, I hope this helped you guys out. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down. Keep them in the comments area.